All right. Let's focus on a little bit of everything today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, coming into your mountain pose. Knees toward your toes, second toes especially. So you can see your big toe if you bend. But remember, never shove your knees beyond your toes. Sitting bones toward the floor, get that core activated. So ribs toward your spine and up, feel that support on your back. Shoulders back and down, just relax your arms. Reach your crown to the ceiling. Spread your toes out. Bring in that breath, full yoga breath to the lower part, middle, and upper lungs, and then exhale it all out. And then keeping that inner focus, drawing in energy and awareness, exhaling stress and tension throughout. Let's do our warm ups. So bring your arms to shoulder level. Reach out the fingertips up through the crown. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders down. And then bring your hands behind you. Just clasp the fingers gently. Push them toward the floor as you lift your heart. Stretch your head back slightly. And then pivot over. So come as deeply into that forward position as you want. Bring your arms up toward the ceiling or further toward your head to get those shoulders working. Circle your chin around to release your neck a little more. And then knees bent and slowly come back up from the bottom of the spine, winding all the way to the top into the back bend once more. Shoulders are down and head back. Don't lift your chin too much. And then inhale up, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling more circulation. And again, reaching at shoulder level. Exhale to your heart. Stretch to the front. Keep those shoulders down. Clasp your hands behind you. Opposite finger outside. And then lift your heart again. Stretch, pivot, and inhale. As you exhale, just come as deep as you'd like. Hands up, head down. And again, just release everything. Let it relax. Bend your knees slightly. Drop the sitting bones as you lift the ribs. Wind the spine all the way back to the top. And lift your heart. Stretch your head back. Take a few more breaths. Just enjoying that upper body back bend. And then inhale upright. Release your arms. Stop a moment and notice your body's response. And we'll do our side stretches. So let's keep one arm down, the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, get that lengthening, and then no twisting, just lean to the side for that side stretch, opening your ribs. Push the foot down, feel those ribs stretch apart a little bit more through those intercostal muscles. Keep the arm by your ear. You can look up if you want to make sure you're not leaning forward. Inhale back to the top. Exhale that arm down. Feel the sides. They're a little bit different. So other arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push them away. Keep the arm by your ear. Don't lean forward or twist. And again, just deepen into that side. Stretch as much as your body wants. Pushing the foot down, fingertips and the head away, ribs opening, breathing into them. Exhale, tension. And then inhale back upright and release to mountain pose. And again, take a moment feeling that stimulation all along your sides. And then we'll stimulate the spine even more with our foot. So get the base of the spine, the base of the skull stretching apart. So those bones have more room to twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows just gently. Pull your arms next to your ears and push up through the elbows, but down through the shoulders. I know you challenge. And stretch the spine apart. Exhale and go to one side. Take a breath and in the twist, exhale on over. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can while you're twisted and forward. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears, take a moment to breathe. 
And then stay in your twist, wait on both feet still as you come back up, and in the twist into that upper body for the back bend. Remember, always gentle on your low back while it's twisted. Take a breath, just relaxing. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, pull them back by your ears, stretch the spine apart, shoulder blades down, exhale to the other twist. Take a breath, exhale on over. And again, keep the weight as even as you can to come all the way into your forward position. Breathe, lift your swimming bones maybe a little bit more, stretch the legs. And then keeping the arms still by your ears, staying in your twist all the way up. Lift your heart at the top, coming into that belt and right back bend in one more time. Take a breath, just relax into it. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up, shoulders down, extended mountain. Just feel that stability of both your feet. Spread your toes out. Make sure the base of the toes right across the bottom of your toe area. And the heels have even weight. And then let's pivot forward. So keep your arms by your ears. Push your sitting on slightly back. Keep your body parallel to the floor as much as you can and stretch everything straight. And then drop into that dog. Take a moment, just breathe and pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you want a little more of that stretch. And then return your arms to the front and one more wind up from the bottom of the spine, bring the shoulders back and down and come into mountain pose one more time. So all that stimulation through your spine from our warm up in the six directions the spine moves. Take a moment and breathe. And let's focus on one foot for our balance practice. So lift your toes, get that base of the toe, all of the foot area all connected. Spread your toes out as you put them back down, but remember, don't hurt because that loses that connection. Keep the whole foot down, lifting the arch so the outside of your foot is evenly connected. Make sure that knee is going toward your second toe. So sometimes that means that you need to push the heel out a little bit and roll into the top of the leg. So the whole leg turns, knee going toward that toe. Core activated, ribs toward your spine and up to support your spine. Shoulders down. Spread with ceiling, toes remember spreading, everything lined up, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder. And then when you're comfortable that you're aligned, bring the other foot up. And just bring it up so that it doesn't cross over. So again, a little roll in through the top of the leg. And circle your ankle when you're stable, both ways. Making sure we don't get inflexible and over. And then flex and point to straighten it out as you put that foot back down. Shift to that other foot and get ready to balance on that. So again, lifting the toes, spreading them out, keeping that arch lifted so that that whole outside of your foot is really connecting but not gripping. Everything lining up for supporting you and sitting on shoulder blades down. Bring the other foot up. And again, pull it in as far as you'd like on this side. Look around with the ankle both ways, feeling that working. And again, when you're ready to release, slowly bring it down. Take a moment and exhale any stress from your balance. And let's do that just once more, just to prove we can. So first balance foot, remember, choose your better one for the first side because it can educate the second side. Spread the toes out. Again, just bring the foot up a little or more or up. So if you feel like you can, we're going to bend forward and grab under your foot. So along that, all the front face of the chest area. And then pull the knee in. And if you can, straighten up a little bit more. Take a moment there, just breathe. Help me in if you need to. 
and then slowly release into mountain pose. Exhale, shift to the other side. And again, spread the toes, get the whole bottom of your foot connected for support. Get those hips nice and open, core activated, sitting bones, shoulders down. And when you're ready, the foot comes up. And again, it can be low, it can be high, wherever it feels good for you. If you're comfortable there, just pin up that hip joint, bending forward, reaching for the bottom of your foot. And again, pull the heel slightly in the knee toward your heart. And if that's good, you can straighten up even a little bit more. Maybe. Take a breath. And slowly exhale into that pose. And release all that balance stress. Bring your hands to your heart. Shoulders down. Look at your fingers. Bring them overhead. Keep looking at your thumbs and pull them into a back bend. Lifting your heart. Stretch your head back. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart, all the way pivoting over into ragdoll. Take a moment there, just breathe and hang. Slide your hands up on your shins, under your knees, and just a little stretch, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Take a breath, lengthen. Exhale back into ragdoll. And again, hands together, coming up slowly towards your heart and again all the way up toward the ceiling we'll look at your thumbs for another back bend and exhale hands to your heart and release take a moment in mountain pose shoulders back and down feel that core keep it active and supporting you bring your arms up to the sides palms up hands pull right above your shoulders Shoulder blades towards your waist, sitting bones toward the floor, crown toward the ceiling, reach those fingertips out. We're gonna bend the knees toward the toes, not beyond, push the sitting bones back and come into chair pose, so nice squat. So keep your spine as straight as you can to come down into this position. Sitting bones go back, lift those ribs back toward your spine for support, keep it nice and supporting. Take a breath. Sink maybe a little deeper. So you can go as deeply into this as parallel with the thigh bones to the floor. That works for you. But remember, don't overwork your knees so you can stay upright a little bit more if that's important to your knees. Arms by your ears, but shoulder blades towards your waist. Take a breath, stretch it out a little bit more, sitting bones and ground away from each other. And then fingertips leaning, put it back up. Arms, palms out, exhale them down to shoulder level, and back down to your sides. Feel your body more activated and energized. Take a moment and breathe. Keep lengthening your spine. Spread your toes out. So we're gonna do that one again, and we're gonna add the twist. So remember, if the twist is not right for you, don't do it. If it feels like going into a deep squat would be too much, remember, you don't have to go into a deep squat. You can do it at any level that you're at. So once more, just take a moment to breathe. Exhale, tension. Arms out, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Stretch the fingertips and crown, shoulder blade, shoulder blades, shoulders, and sitting bones down. So get a good stretch in that extended energy. Keep the arms right by your ears. Keep the weight on the feet evenly. So heels and base of the toes. And then sitting bones go back, knees bend. Remember, not beyond your toes. So really push the sitting bones back as much as you need to. And if you pivot at that hip joint, into your squat. Come as deeply as you feel is right for you. And then bring your hands together to your heart. You can stay there or you can twist. So remember to twist, you want the spine stretching apart so it's got room to do the twisting. 
So go ahead, stretch the sitting bones and crown the base of the skull away from each other. And then turn your whole body toward the side. So stay at any point, wherever it works for you. If you can get that elbow to the outside of the knee, you can leave it, use it for leverage to twist even a little bit further to the side. So take a moment there, breathe. One elbow up, the other one down. Take a breath, just relax. If you want, you can separate your arms and bring one hand down and the other one straight above you. And make sure those shoulders are nice and open. Take a breath. Make sure your whole spine, whole body is turned to the side. And then if your hands are separated, bring them back together to your heart. Turn your whole body to face the floor. Bring your arms out over your shoulders, next to your ears, and lead with your fingertips all the way back up. Arms out and down to your sides. Take a breath. Exhale all that stress and tension. Oh, but remember, we've only gone one way. We've got to go the other way to balance it out. Yeah, so one more chair for us today. So remember, twist as much or as little as appropriate for you. Keep that spine stretching apart as you do it. Arms up, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Again, keep those arms by your ears. Make sure your knees go straight toward your toes, but not beyond. Push those sitting bones back. And again, you can stay upright or we're down all the way into the squat as much as you want. Take a moment and breathe. Check that you can see your toes. Bring your hands to your heart. Get ready for your twist, stretch that spine apart. Take a breath, exhale, turn and face the side. And again, if you can reach that knee with your elbow, you can twist a little bit more if you love a twist. So stay where you are, keep that squat as much or as little as it needs to be. Hands are still at your heart, your whole body is turning to the side. You can separate the hands, and stretch out through the shoulders if you want. Take a breath. Hands back together, back to your heart. Stretch long, exhale, pivot back, looking at the floor. Stretch the spine, bring your arms by your ears. Lead with your fingertips, once more coming up, and exhale into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, notice that energy warms a little bit more through your whole body. Take a breath. Exhale, stress. And separate your feet. So toes to the front, heels toward the back of your mat. That helps you keep aligned. We're going to go into warrior one. So for warrior one, remember, we are going to turn the whole body after we move our feet. So we want to be facing the direction that our foot is going for this one. So keep the hips open, shoulders back and down, arms at shoulder. Yeah, that's just, that's just leaving at the sides while we move the feet. So turn your foot 90 degrees. Bring that toe forward, heel back, and then keep moving to bring your whole body around so that the back hip keeps coming up and the front hip keeps going back. Both knees are still straight. And then we're going to keep the hands on the hips as you bend the knee to keep that front hip coming back and back hip coming forward. Check that you can see your big toe. So you don't want to see all the toes because that means your knee is going way out to the side. You don't want to see your little toe only, because that means your knee is coming in. You want to go straight toward that second toe, so you can see your big toe. You want the knee above the ankle, heel, and little toe on that back foot really pressing down to give you good support on both feet. And then bring the arms to the front, and back up into that over-the-shoulder position. 
arms next to your ears. Chest forward and up. You can actually look up in a little bit of a back bend if you would like, lifting your heart a little bit more. Sink evenly into both feet. Exhale, tension. And then bring your hands to your heart. Straighten your knee. Turn your feet to the front. And release into your wide leg position. And of course, we're going to have to go the other way with that same warrior position. So again, keep those hips even. When we get to the side, you want those hips still to be even when they're facing the side. Turn the foot 90 degrees so that outside of your foot goes along the mat. Feel that toes forward, pull that back hip all the way around. Look at your front foot. Make sure the front hip comes back as that back hip comes forward so that you're facing evenly toward the front with your hip bones. Again, bend your knee, just bring it right above your ankle. Check the positioning, see the big toe, not the rest of them. And then breathing, releasing your shoulders, bring your arms out, and again, up over your shoulders, next to your ears. You can keep looking forward, or you can go into that little bit more back foot, really push into that back foot so for support. Lift your heart, shoulders down, keep breathing. And then hands to your heart, straighten the knee, turn the feet to the front, and your body with it, and release. And again, you're in that wide legged position. Take a breath, just relax. We're going to do one more warrior on each side, and we're going to do it slightly differently this time. So if you like that first version, you can always do the same thing. Once more, start with those heels next to the back of the mat. Sink evenly into your sitting bones. Shoulders down, turn your foot 90 degrees. Keep those hips going as you pull the heel back and bring the toes forward. Turn your whole body once again toward that first foot. Hands on the hips as you bend your knees. Check the position of your knee over the ankle, seeing the big toe. Get the heel and Belly of the toes evenly connecting as well as into that back foot, especially that little toe side. Keep pulling the back hip forward and the front hip back. Take your hands, put either to your heart and do the same thing you did, or clasp them behind you and then push your hands down towards your back knee as you rotate and look your chest up toward the ceiling. Keep the chin slightly toward your chest, not too much up toward the ceiling so that your neck keeps stretching. And just keep sinking into your feet evenly as you come into that heart opening in warrior one. Shoulders, shoulder blades down and chest high. Take a breath or two. Feel the feet both supporting evenly. And then rotate back up, release your hands, and bring them back to your heart. Straighten your knee, turn the feet to the front along with your body, and again release. Spread your toes, sitting bones down, shoulder blades down. Take a breath or two. Check how that's working for you. We're going to do that once more to the other side. So again, line up your heels on the mat. Keep the hips nice and open, shoulders open. Turn the first foot all the way to the side. Bring the heel back, toes forward as you pull that back hip forward and the front hip back till things are even facing that other side. And again, we're gonna bring the hands to the hips, keeping the hips even as you bend the knee over your ankle. See that big toe, spread the toes, get that heel, little toe side of your other foot sinking down. Both feet should feel like they're supporting you evenly. Ask your hands with the opposite finger outside. Push them toward the floor. Or you can again bring them in the front next to your ears if you prefer. So again, just sinking evenly into the feet, lifting your heart, breathing, exhale in tension. Don't lift your chin too much. Stretch out through that base of the skull behind you. 
and the crown. Chest open, breathe, sink into your feet. Nice warrior one heart opening. And then rotate forward, releasing your hands, bring them to your heart. And again, straighten your knee, turn your feet to the front, and release. Step into mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling that warrior energy a little bit more through the whole body. Hands to your heart. Inhale, hands up, and a nice backward bend, lifting your heart. Exhale, all the way over. Drop into ragdoll, bend your knees, and come all the way to child's pose as we transition to the floor. Take a breath. Exhale. Feel your spine, let it stretch nicely, releasing those hips as well. Sit up and bring your feet to the end of the mat. Sitting bones connecting, a little behind you, core activated to roll all the way down into corpse position with fine integration. If your shoulders down, bring them out to shoulder level. A little menagerie here, it's a little bit close today. We're just going to do a really brief twist before our final relaxation. Hands up or down, sitting bones toward your heels, pull the heels toward your hips, press the back down, knees right above your hips with the feet off the floor. If you want, you can cross your leg over for a little more low back twist or just bring the knees straight over to the side as you turn your head toward that opposite arm. Take a breath. Just exhale those knees down. Toes to the floor if you need a little support. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, straighten it out as much as you need to, and roll to the other side. Again, knees at hip level, head turning the opposite direction. Just relaxing, shoulders and shoulder blades down, knees going as far toward the floor as your low back knees. Take a breath. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, feet to the floor, and slide your legs out, getting ready for our final relaxation. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, hands, palms up slightly away from your sides. Let that heart open, let those hips release. Move your toes slightly toward each other. And then exhale. Just let the legs relax. Shoulders down, spine stretching open. Take a breath and let your body grow heavier. Just to let it sink deep into that earth. Breathe in. Exhale through your mouth and relax. Take a few breaths, just allowing everything to soften and sink into that surface beneath you. Allowing your body to just sink into that earth embrace. Let it go. And as your body relaxes, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your mind. Just let it go. The earth will support you. And as that body releases and thoughts of your body release from your awareness, just know that other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, you can let those thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. Flowing in and flowing out, just like the tide just like you did. Let the thoughts drift away without awareness, allowing your focus to turn inward. Find that peace within and fill your body, fill your mind, fill your heart and your breath, everything with peace. Just let it go and be
If you have time to keep relaxing your day, just take as much time and opportunity as you have. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment to the land with your breath. As you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. And as you breathe more fully and stretch more completely, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing just gently down, draw your knees up towards your hips, and your knees up towards your foot. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, giving yourself a good stretch and feeling that appreciation for all the work your body did in yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.